With Donald Trump doing his usual scenery-chewing act over the last few months, you probably missed this. Joe Biden is deeply vulnerable, even as he appears to be gearing up to run for president again in 2024. And the signs of that vulnerability are everywhere. Take this, a new CNN poll that shows just 32% of the public thinks Biden deserves to be reelected, while 67% says he does not deserve a second term. Those numbers are worse than where Trump stood in September 2019 CNN polling. At that time, 36% said Trump deserved to be reelected, while 60% said he did not. Biden's job approval numbers also remain decidedly mediocre. Gallup's March poll showed Biden's approval at 40%, again roughly similar to the 43% approval Trump had at a similar time in his term. A new Pew poll pegs Biden's job approval at a meager 37%. Biden's average job approval is 44% in the Real Clear Politics polling average. So Biden's approval on the economy, widely regarded as the number one issue for voters, is even worse than his overall approval numbers. In the CNN poll, just 37% approved of how Biden is handling the economy. Biden's overall approval in that poll was 42%. A majority of Democrats in the CNN poll, that's 54%, said they would prefer someone other than Biden as the nominee, which is not a one-off finding. The data has been consistent over time. Democrats want someone other than Joe Biden as their nominee in 2024, which is a break from recent history. In October 2010, 83% of Democrats said they wanted Barack Obama to run again. 83%. Add it all up, and it looks really, really bad for Biden. Then there is the fact that Biden still hasn't actually made clear he's going to run again. And there's talk that he may postpone his official announcement for months. As Axios reported earlier in April, and I'm quoting here, President Biden's advisors and close allies don't expect him to announce a run for re-election anytime soon. And some now believe it could come as late as July, or perhaps even the fall. Biden's waiting game has left many ambitious Democrats and would-be staffers with their 2024 plans on hold. They initially thought Biden would launch a campaign soon after the Christmas break, after talking with his family. Biden and his allies see the delay as a strategic decision made from a position of strength. He can continue to look and act presidential while Trump, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, and the rest of the Republican field engage in a nasty fight for the Republican nomination. But here's the thing. What if it isn't made from a position of strength? There's no indication in the numbers above, or really any numbers I could find, that suggest Biden is prospering in the role of president right now. The Biden argument, when confronted with meh poll numbers, has long been that the numbers would improve as the legislation he signed into law over the first few years of his presidency seeped out into the general public. That once he and his administration explained to people what he had done, they would come around on him and those policies. And that, well, hasn't happened. At least it hasn't happened yet. And with Biden's numbers being what they are, aka not very good, the lack of certainty on when or if he will run in 2024 is not helping matters. So why aren't we talking more about how vulnerable Joe Biden looks? The answer, as it is to so many political questions, is Donald Trump. And it's Trump in two distinct ways. Number one, Trump dominates news cycles. So this has been especially true over the last few weeks as his indictment and arrest have come into view. In the words of Trump himself, the show is Trump and it's sold out performances everywhere. Given how the media continues to cover and cover and cover Trump, there's very little room for anyone else, up to and including the current president of the United States, to get much attention. Now that's not to say that all the headlines Trump gets are good for him, they're not. It's just that there are so, so many headlines, it blots out the sun for other politicians. And point two, Trump is uniquely weak in a general election. So there are two things that to my mind are indisputably true. A, Trump is the very likely Republican nominee in 2024, and B, he is the weakest person Republicans could put forward as their presidential nominee. His recent arrest, regardless of the final outcome of a trial, if there is an, even is a trial, is likely to cement voters' views about him. And when it comes to electorally critical independence, they'd already soured on Trump, big time. It's very hard for me to see how Trump can change those perceptions. And it's that second point, I think, why Democrats aren't publicly or privately panicking about Biden's current standing. There's a sort of inherent belief that no matter how low Biden's numbers are, the likelihood of him facing Trump again in the general election makes everything all right. Now, undergirding that belief is another belief that Trump can't possibly win again. 
that after his presidency, his role in the January 6th insurrection, and his continued breaking of norms and pushing of boundaries, that the American public will simply never choose him to run the country ever again. So what? I do think Trump is the weakest person Republicans could nominate in 2024, period. But that's not at all the same as saying that he couldn't win if he did wind up as the nominee, especially when you consider where Biden stands with the electorate. It's not as though Trump is facing down Barack Obama at the height of his powers. Biden is significantly diminished in the eyes of voters, someone who even Democrats would prefer be swapped out for another candidate come 2024. Now that reality has yet to sink in, but the numbers don't lie. Biden is in a very unenviable spot as he prepares to seek a second term, whether or not he faces Donald Trump next November. Mm -hmm.